Hi everybody, I'm Regina Sellers with Probo the Hand. This little video is dedicated to Inga. Inga, I've finally been able to make this for you. I got a telephone call one day from a, uh, a lady named Inga um, and she got a Probo for Christmas. And um, as y'all know, I give out my phone, my phone number all the time. And uh, she contacted me and I gave her my phone number. I said, well, she was having a little bit of trouble. I said, well, just call me. And so she did, or, or we messaged, whatever. And anyway, she told me that she, and she sent me pictures, and she told me that she wanted to make a 10-inch wide bow. And she wanted to know, how do I know how to just immediately know how to make a 10 inch wide bow? And um, she told me that she wanted it to be 10 inches wide and that she wanted 14 loops and that she wanted them all pretty much the same size. Uh, if they could taper a little bit, but pretty much all the same size. And so here we go, Inga, I even, bought the same ribbon you showed me black and white checks so i bought the same ribbon so here we go now i'm going to turn it down and you're, we're just going to see the pro bow and i'm going to get this bow made for you so let's begin so inca asked me to do when it when her bow is completely finished she did not want it to be any more than 10 inches wide so now you're looking at a board with all these holes and you go, oh my goodness, how am I going to figure that out? Well, this is half of your bow. This is the other half of your bow. So you just measure on one side. I'm going to take a ruler. This is the dead center of the bottom of the bow. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to sit it here at five. Five and five is ten. Okay, and I'm just going to move it. Um... I, I could use this I could use this because uh, that's 10 but I, I, I just I don't want to I want to move a little further up because I want some taper uh, if, if I can use more of these holes I, I'm going to be able to uh, get a little bit more taper to my bow so that I could use this but I think I'm going to decide to move up because I, I I want it to be I want a little bit more taper in my bow than that and look where, look where my five is hitting now. So you see, I can decide now. And you know, you'll, you'll understand this as you go along and you do it. Just practice a little bit with your bow, with your bow maker and make a few bows and just kind of to see what you want to get. Cause I, I know I want some taper. I want some taper to the top of my bow. So instead of using the, 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 the exact bottom and just going back and forth and back and forth. I just know that I'm going to get a little bit more taper to my bow if I move on up into the, the these shorter dowels, uh, these these shorter rows. Because you see, there I go. I'm going from five. There's there's to five. Let's put my dowel in, and that's where I'm going to start. And where I am I? I'm using finger four on row C. And so from here to here is five. And now let's put our dowel on four, row C here. There we go. And she said she wanted some taper to the bow a little bit. That's the reason why I'm not starting in the center. She wanted a more loopy bow. Okay. So, and I'm going to make this two ways because I'm going to make this with a bit of taper and then I'm going to make one a, a loopier one. So I'm going to put a dowel here and here and then here and here. This is going to give us some taper to our bow. And um, like I said, I'm going to make this one. And then let's let's put our base finger in. Y'all make sure put your put uh, your little red your little uh, red dot with uh, your slit in it. That's our that's our new base. That's our new base dowel. So now this is going to give us a bit of a bow with some taper in it, kind of loopy. That's the reason why I'm not using the center at all. Okay. I, I measured it out. This is five to five. So when we open it up, my bow is going to be 10 across. And then this is going to give us some a, a bit of taper to our bow. And um, so let's make the first one. And then I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to take this out and you'll see that the bow will be even loopier. So I'll, I'll give you two different looks and then you can decide what you would like to do. Okay, so let's get started. So let's let's do that. Now, since we're not using the center, 
you're going, oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do? I'm not, I'm not going to use the center. What I'm going to do is, because I'm not using the center, or let me do, let's see, let's see. If I was going to use the center, then what I would be doing is coming around and, and pinching and twisting, and then this little, this little tab would be up in the center of my bow and it would be hidden. But I'm not doing that because I'm going to go all the way out here. So what, so how do you start? There's several things that you can do. What I'm going to do, because you can decide at the end, I'm going to, I'm going to start with a, with, I'm just going to leave a little tail to it because at the end you can kind of decide what you want to do with your bow. What you can do with this little tail is you can wrap it around the center if you would like to. It just depends on how you want to use your bow. She's going she told me already she's going to use these on um, some disc. So she's just going to be able to pull this little tail underneath. You won't ever see it. So that, that's, you know, you just have to decide how you're going to use your bow and how you want to hide this. Okay. That's the reason why I'm leaving some. Okay. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave this because then you can decide at the end what you want to do with it. Okay. So let's one, two. Okay. Y'all, just like we do at every other time, put this through the slit, wrap it around. Y'all, don't y'all just love this new dowel? I just love it. It just holds it in place. It ties this off so much tighter now. I just absolutely love it. Okay. We're going to slide this under. I'm just going to let this stick up at the top. It's just going to be out of my way. And here we go. Now, I've had to decide because she wants 14 loops. Whenever you're making a bow like this, I, I've, I've counted and I've decided how many loops where I want to put what. It's always better to put more your loops to the bottom of your bow and make it a little fuller, a little bit, a little bit, you know, a fuller around the bottom. You'll see whenever I finish. So what I've decided to do on finger two, I'm going to go around it twice. Okay, so there's one and that's right and left. What you do on the right, you always do it to the left. There's one. And then here we're going to go. There's the pinch and the twist. And y'all, this ribbon is extremely soft. So I can easily now and just take it and just drop it in with my finger and completely just drop it over. And you can see there that I'm having no trouble at all because this ribbon is extremely soft. So what would I do if this was burlap and this was a very, very, or a heavy velvet or something, what would I do? What would I do if that happened? And it was just, and maybe you just don't like to go over a dowel more than once. Let me show you what you're gonna do. Y'all fall in love with that helping hand finger, helping hand wire, I mean. Drop your wire in, and you're gonna tie this off. You, you, know, you just tie it off, all this is doing is just holding this in place. That's what it's doing. It's just that simple, that's all you're gonna do. Okay, wire up, wire down. Again, we're going between our wire. You can take your bottom wire and stick it down there and get it out of the way. You're just gonna leave this out here out of your way. And so let's, let's just now play like we're using a really heavy velvet or a very heavy burlap. And we don't want to go over our dowels again. This is nothing will move because I've used my helping hand wire. And all I have to do is just drop that over. How easy. Here's my receiving finger. See how I always come in sideways, always keeping the bottom edge of my ribbon in view and the reason why I want to do that is because I want to use my pinch and my twist bring the bottom edge up and the reason why I'm doing that is because it's keeping the ribbon straight from my hand to my to my spools never one twisted ribbon and so now I'm going to do my pinch and my twist again bringing that little bottom edge up that down okay that's that's a little part of fluffing already Let's play like this is really heavy burlap. And I don't want to go over that dial again, so what am I going to do? Because I've used my helping hand wire, this is tied off 
This is not going to move on me. Look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to lift it and get it out of my way. I'm going to push it forward. And now I'm going to come use my dowel again. How's, the, how's that? There's my pinch. There's my twist. I'm going to take this ribbon. I'm going to pick it up, get it out of my way. And that's it. How about that? Here's my pretty little pinch. Here's my twist. And at this position, I counted already, I have to make five loops because I have four here already. Now I need to make five loops because I need a total of 14 in the end. So here's two, there's two. Let's, let's raise that, get it out the way, push it forward. And now I'm gonna drop over that dowel again and I'm gonna pinch and I'm gonna twist and, and just hold it and that's it. And just for grins, y'all, I could tie this, I could use my helping hand wire again or not. It's up to you, it's what you get more comfortable with. I personally love the helping hand wire so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it again. Cause this is just gonna hold this in place and I'm, I'm just going to tie it off just because just because just because I like to uh, this helps me to keep my stack really really tight nothing's moving on me and I just did it just because I like to and I like how tight this keeps the stack keeping a very very tight tight stack is going to make your bow fluff prettier okay so here we go again I need five more loops one Here's my pretty little pinch. Here's a twist. There we go. Pinch. Let's get this out of the way. Remember, just keep in mind, we've decided that this is extremely stiff ribbon. We don't want to go over that dowel again. So we're just going to move our ribbon out of our way. Just move it out of your way and just, and it'll just sit there. I've tied it off with my helping hand wire and y'all this, nothing is going anywhere. Just get it out of the way. And uh, this, uh, you'll just really enjoy this if you're using really, really stiff ribbon. Let's see, how many have I done? One, two, three. I think I just need to go over this one. one. I think I have the count right. I think I've done this right. Here we go. I think I needed to do five at e on each one of the levels. I think I have it right. One, two, three, four, five. That should be right. I'm gonna tie off my helping hand, my helping hand wire, I tie it off. Okay, now at this point, she also told me that she would like to have tails on her bow. So how are we gonna get multiple tails? What we're gonna do is, you see, if I, if I took my, my scissors and I cut this off, I would have one tail, okay? Now I'm gonna give you either two or three. Now all you have to do is just turn your ribbon around, make a loop, tie it right in with your helping hand wire. Tie that off. And now what we have, one, two, three. Now we have three tails. If you wanted five, y'all, you can just keep going. You can put as many tails as you ever want, okay? And that's all you have to do is loop, loop, loop. I'm going to go ahead and cut this now. There we go. I'm going to cut this a little, bit, a little bit longer. I want you to see there, five tails. I mean, three tails. There you got three tails here, okay? That, y'all, that's all there is to it. And I'm holding it right here with my helping hand wire. I'm just going to tie that. I'm just going to twist that once, once around a little bit more. I'm going to pull it over here to the side. Now I'm going to go back and retrieve my beginning wire. Y'all just make sure you kind of ring it around. Don't pull it straight up because it'll not. Pull it out of the slot. Y'all, you can tighten this up before you take it off. Make sure that all your stack is very, very tight. Tightened up all straight you can push it in it hardly moved on me i got it real tight to begin with here we go tighten it up 
wrap it around and y'all that's all that's all there is to it and people question me all they I get questions all the time oh I'm so worried about what do I do with my helping hand wire did you see what I just did I just I just kind of looped it all together y'all that's that's all it is I've seen people they sit here and now when they end I've watched people doing lives and now they're plaiting all of this and 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 worried about the helping hand wire and they have to cut it off y'all you don't have to do any of that you can y'all i'm just leaving it just like that that's all i'm doing okay i'm going to pick it up and here is our little loopy bow and we're going to open it and see if this is loop enough okay now look see what i'm saying here's the, here's this little tail see the little tail that we had you can decide what you want to do with this you might want to take this and just wrap it around come back over you might want to have a bow i can see if i wanted to do that i should have left that a little just just a little bit longer it would be enough i would just make it you can either do that you can have this sort of bow with um with a little wrap in the center uh but what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pull it to the back i'm just gonna leave it like it's to the back and I'm gonna fluff my bow and I want you to see how that looks. You don't have to have that little center. You can put it or not, okay? So let's, let's fluff it. Trusty fluff box. See how I'm just pulling this down, pulling that little, that little tail down. I'm gonna kind of just disregard it and let's fluff our little bow. Here we go, and here we go. Let's pull the tails down. I hope I counted right. How many, how many loops do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, oh, I put too many loops. I thought I had counted that right. Or maybe you know what I did? That's on that side. That's 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 the reason why because that's that comes from that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and seven is fourteen. Oh, I thought I had counted right. <laughs> There's the fourteen loops, and it's kind of loopy. I was like, oh my goodness, y'all! I even have it written down on the side of me. It's like, how could I have done that wrong? Let's see. That's because I picked up. I picked up the. Uh, the loops from the other side so here we go so this is kind of a loopy bow it's not real tight in the center didn't use the center of my uh, didn't use the center uh, fingers didn't use one didn't use finger one I did use finger two so I just wanted you to see how you can make a little loopier bow okay with 14 loops 10 and totally 10 inches across i wanted you to see how you figure out when you finish is kind of going backwards if it's if it's very very important to you that you need a bow only a certain width well then that's how you do it okay put your put your tape measure on your board divide it in half we found where five was and then that gave us a 10 inch Bow. and I think it's just beautiful it's just perfect how's that y'all so let's do this one more time I'm gonna make the next one a little bit loopier so hold on just a second okay so here we go as you can see I've taken out finger two I'm going to try, like Inga said, she wanted a little bit of taper to her bow. So let's let's just make another one. I have the ribbon. Let's just see if we were taking out finger two. Let's see just how much loopier our little bow can get. Again, I'm going to leave some center so you can decide what you want to do with this at the end. You can either wrap it, pull it back, cut it off, just whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to leave that for now. You can just, that's just a little design decision you can make at the end, what you want to do with it. Wrap this around here. Here we go. Go to the wire, to the slit. 
wrap this around. Just love the new little slit. Hold it right in place. Does it move on you? Y'all, just go around the... Y'all, the bottom finger, uh, I mean the, the nail. Y'all, I watch people all the time on lives and they just go round and round and round. Y'all, you really just need to do it once. That's really, that's all that's necessary. I've, I've done this a gazillion times. I've only ever done it once. Doesn't matter how big a bow I make. So you can, it really does work if you just do it once, okay? I'm going to pull this up here, get it out of my way, okay? And let's get started. One. There's my pinch and my twist. Hold your thumb there, because that's just going to hold everything in place. Finger like this, smooth, easy glide, drop it over. Y'all, this particular ribbon is extremely soft, so I can go over my finger very, very easily because my ribbon is extremely soft. So there's two. There's a pretty little pinch and up and down here we go smooth easy glide dropping over let's do it one more time now I, here we go see how i can drop it over and now i can just drop this over and i'm going to show how i'm doing it on the top finger but i'm going to change it on this finger okay this was three and three i have six and now I want, I'm going to do this one more time because I want seven loops. I want seven loops here because I want a total of 14. I'm going to pinch in my twist. And I am going to use my trusty, wonderful, best friend, <laughs> my helping hand wire. I'm just going to tie this off. I don't have to. I don't have to because I'm going to just continue making my bow. I don't have to tie it off. But I just, I just like to. I like to tie it off. Um, Y'all, this is why it's so important to use 26 gauge wire. Look how incredibly easy that was for me to turn. 26 gauge wire is very soft and it's, and it's very, very pliable. And you just don't want to fill up the stack of your bow with wire. So that's the reason why you want to use 26 gauge always. Okay? always always 26 gauge wire i just had a lady who called me she just got her probo and she's using 20 gauge wire and she's and she's like well I, you know i just hate this and she was trying to make a little bow that's the reason why using 20 gauge wire to me would be like almost trying to move around a fence post it's just way too heavy you you saw just how easily i just turned and twist that it's because it's tiny and you don't want to fill up the stack you bow with wire. Okay, so there we go. I've made seven loops. So here we go. One. There's a pretty little pinch and a twist. Now let's play like I'm now using extremely heavy burlap ribbon. Okay, so there you go. So I've made a loop and a loop, and let's, let's just decide that this is really heavy burlap ribbon, and it would just be so, so difficult to go over that, this dowel. So what am I going to do? I'm going to hold my finger here, and I'm just going to pick this up and move it out of my way. Okay, now I can use this dowel just like I haven't used it before. I can, the reason why I can do this so easily is because I use my helping hand wire. I tied everything off and nothing is going to move on me. Okay, y'all fall in love with that helping hand wire. There's my pinch and twist. Take your ribbon, move it up. The hardest thing about this is going to be now to keep my count straight. <laughs> so let's see. Get this out the way. Now, what do y'all think about that? Picking that wire, picking that ribbon up and getting that out of the way. Don't y'all just love that? If you're using just really heavy uh, ribbon and you don't want to go over it, just over and over it. Look how easy that is. Incredibly easy. Okay, I have six loops. I need one more. 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get this one out of the way. Let's go over this one more time. Let's pinch and twist. Let's tie it off. We're gonna tie it off with our helping hand wire first. There it is. Y'all, 26 gauge wire. Boop, y'all, it just turns just that easy. You want something that's just gonna turn super, super easy and not bulk up the stack. That's what's so important. Okay, the next thing, again, just like I showed you in the first one, if I wanted to, I could cut this off and have one tail. Well, I'm just about out of ribbon. I'm gonna turn this around and I'm just gonna have two loops. We're gonna two two little short, two little short um, tails. That's okay. Let's tie this in. And y'all, I'm tying it in with the helping hand wire. See how easy that was? 26 gauge wire is just so easy to work with. Okay, I've tied this off. I'm just gonna, let's, let's just go around one more time. Just let, let's just hold this real good. No more than about three times, that's it. And let's pull this, our little helping hand wire down here right out of the way. People ask me all the time, oh my goodness, what do I do with my helping hand wire? They just kind of get it out the way. That's all, that's all you have to do with it. Let's go to the top. Remember, do not pull up. Please, it'll not. I promise you, you want to wiggle it off. Take it out of the slit. You can kind of tighten this up if you want. You see, I got that really tight. Using that helping hand wire, I have tightened this up the whole time that I was going. The tighter you get the stack of your bow, the prettier it'll fluff. Pull this down. Let's tie this off, tight, tight. See how tight you can get that? Ring it around. And then now here's my, y'all, here's my helping hand wire. Here's two of these of the wire that I started with. You can now use these two wires to use this to attach it to, it, to, to your project. So I, I love having all this wire here. I'm ready now to attach this to my project. Now we're gonna pick it up and let's fluff and let's see just how loopy this is. We're going to just pull this around because I just want it to go to the back. Let's see. Fluff box. Oh, my fluff box is getting well used, isn't it? That's it. And let's fluff our little bow. And let's see how loopy this one looks, how different this one looks. She said she wanted... Inga told me that she wanted a little taper to her bow. She showed me the pro her little project, just adorable. And so there you go. Let's pull these tails down. And you can see how this is a bit loopier. Well, I'm going to put the next bow right up against it so you, you'll be able to see the difference. And Inga, I, I went out and I bought the, uh, the black and white check. It was, the, you showed me black and white check in the picture, so I went out and I bought some, so you can just have a really good look at how uh, this will look for your project. And let's get this fluffed. And there we go fluffed all fluffed and it's going to be i think it's going to be just absolutely perfect one thing that i want you to notice is once we get this all fluffed and y'all y'all see you see how tight your center is see how tight the center is of the bow right down in the center you can't see at all that little piece of ribbon that we started with so me pulling it to the back just the back once this if i put this on my project if i put it on um on my pull this down into a wreath or on onto my sign there's no way that you can see or tell that where that little piece is so that is the reason why i wanted to show you that and just show you that you don't have to worry about that little center piece because here it is right here. 
here, see how it's, it's right here. But once I put this on my project, I'm just going to pull that down to the center, let it lay under there, and you can see that you can't even see it. You just don't even know it's there. So please don't worry about that because what's important is seeing down in the center and you can see that, that you can't see the wire, you can't see anything. And there's our perfect little bow and it's nice and loopy. I think and it's our little 10 inch bow, 14 loops. And I think it's just going to be perfect. And she can now make a, just a gazillion of them all the exact same size. <laughs> And I think that is what she wanted to accomplish. So there we go, Inga. Baby, I did this just for you. I hope you love it. And look at me. You know, I, here I am foo-fooing. I just never stop. I never stop. You always think if I just move one more loop, one more way, it'll just be a little bit more perfect. <laughs> but you have to learn, okay, Regina, stop. And I'm going to stop right there. Okay? Okay. Look at there, I'm moving it again. <laughs> there you go, Inga. Just for you, darling. I hope you have enjoyed this, and I sure hope this helped you. So here's one with these loops, and then here's the other bow that's just a little tighter. Okay, so now you'll just be able to decide, you know, how, you know, how loopy you want your little... Uh, your little bow. So there's your two different ones. This one's a little bit loopier than this one, but I wanted to show you both ways. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank y'all so, so very much. Bye for now.